I'm Moises Berrigan, and this is your Canyons News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. With voting being a major topic in this year's election, poll boxes have been popping up all over SCV, and one church in Castaic was forced to take it down. Here's my story on the subject. With the election right around the corner, many people are eager to vote for their preferred candidate. Because of COVID-19's presence during this election, many people opted out voting traditionally and went with vote by mail. However, there have been ballot boxes popping up all over SCV, but they all turned out to be unofficial. And the removal of these unofficial boxes reached all the way to Castaic, where Freedom's Way Baptist Church were forced to remove their ballot box after staying there for a couple of days. Pastor Jerry Cook was the one to share the news about this ballot box, but because it was unofficial, it had to be removed. I'm Moises Bergen, reporting live for Canyons News. COVID research will be happening in SCV, all thanks to the help with Massachusetts. Here's Rachel Mata with the news. Partnering with California to improve COVID-19 testing efficiency, the Massachusetts-based diagnostics company, Perk & Elmer, has signed a lease in Valencia and is expected to open in early November. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, Perk & Elmer has expanded their locations, and as of last Thursday, an estimated 40 job openings based in Valencia were listed on the company's website, ranging from molecular geneticists to customer care. The lab is expected to increase the number of COVID-19 tests up to 150,000 per day, as well as decrease the wait time to receive test results and lower overall test costs, according to a statement made by Governor Gavin Newsom in August. In San Fernando, there has been a call to action to honor Indigenous history. Here's Deanna Lazaro with the news. A special education teacher and mentor by the name of Desca Aka and her partner placed a GoFundMe page to send a formal application to the city of L.A. to memorialize Toy Purina, who was a medicine woman from the Shakava village. The group was inspired to advocate the movement by the indigenous women that stood where the Columbus statue once was in Detroit of Michigan. This has been Canyons News with Deanna Lazaro. Over in the country of Armenia, tensions are rising, and people over in Santa Clarita are reacting to it. Here's Roberto with the news. Santa Clarita Valley Armenians are speaking out against the Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict as discord escalates. Many local Armenians have taken to the streets across Southern California. With no exceptions in Santa Clarita this Saturday as many gathered in a peaceful protest. This is what local Rachel Rahabedian has to say about the protest. I went because my great-grandmother survived the Armenian Holocaust and my cousins that are still over there are fighting right now, so we need to raise our voices so that we can get change. This is Roberto Ramos with Kenya News. With tensions for the 2020 election rising, one well-known celebrity was surprised to see that his name was in the polls. Here's Gilbert with the news. Kanye West shared results from the Kentucky election on Twitter Tuesday night that were not valid. The 43-year-old rapper posted a video of him showing off results from the Kentucky election that had him ahead of Joe Biden and Donald Trump. The confusion was caused by a cached web link on Lex 18's website. The NBC-affiliated television station licensed to Lexington, Kentucky, issued an apology, saying, quote, The results shown were not valid. They were simply part of a test. We regret the discovery of the cached web link and have removed the data from that page. We apologize for any confusion. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Gilbert Mogoza. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. Be sure to go to our website at canyonsnews.com and follow all our social media from Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Moises Berrigan, and this has been your Canyons News Micro.